guys, welcome back. Uh, thanks for taking the time to join me as always. Much appreciated. So, I'm going to tell you a wee Mayfly pattern um, called uh, the Urn Special. I uh, wasn't planning on filming the fly, but why the camera's sitting here. So, this is the ones that I've already tied. I'm just going to show you how to put it together. Now, the hook in the vase is a Camazon B170 in size 10. It's a medium wire hook. Thread we're going to use is the Uni Thread 80 in uh, Lake Cahill. So I'm just going to come in a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. Get our thread started. I'm just running your thread down, sort of halfway down the shank. Remove the waist tag of thread and work your thread back up. Now, I would leave at least two to three mil at the front. There's three hackles at the front of this fly. The wing, you're just looking some dyed mallard in yellow. I got this from Gordon Griffiths, obviously, near Dunmouth. Had that a long time, just basically from, geez, Adam was a boy. Now I've taken a feather here, sorry, and I've taken the, the, the tip out of the centre to give me a, a right and a left. I'm just going to offer this up to the hook. Just come round with a, a pinch and loop. And they're just loose turns. Now, I just want to check the length. I'm happy enough with that, so I'm going to tighten up. Just coming down to where we've stopped their thread. And then back up again. Nice and tight. Now, what I like to do here is, you don't have to do this. You can just leave it the way it is. And put the wing up. What I like to do is to separate the wing. Just a, just a tiny bit. Just think it makes it, in my eyes, look a bit better. Now, that's enough. You don't need to begin in and out with figures of eight turns of thread. Come in and lift your waist. Trim that away in a bit of a tapered cut. Now, it's going to come forward again. Lift the, the mallard. Get a couple of turns of thread in front. Down to the eye of the hook. Back up. Back around the back of your wing. Come down over the cut ends of the mallard to there. On the way down I'm going to tie in the tail which is the cock pheasant fibre. Now this is here cock pheasant has been dyed a golden olive. I don't take off three. I'm that's the probably about four to five fibres there. Um, I think taking off three is probably a, a mistake because you have to compensate for the the fly uh, catching a few fish yeah, just to there so that's our tail in we'll come in and trim away the waste at this point on the way back up for the body we're going to catch in some uni mailer and clear this is just a clear wrap doesn't have to be uni any clear wrap that you have will, will do guys uh, I like to use a size 14 on this pattern simply because it's it's small enough. I don't want it to be too broad and basically becoming a too overpowering on the pattern. And just like to try and keep it as neat as I possibly can. Now the body's meant to be a primrose silk on the fly. I don't have a primrose floss or silk at the minute, so just going to build the body up a touch here with the thread. And that's why I'm using the, the late K hill as well. So just building the body up to where I like it. The rib, just look at one of the fibres of the cock pheasant that you've used for the tail. Staff this up to the hook. Just put it in the, the length and then just Work your thread up, tang in the end, just stay right about there. Then I'm going to rib the body, I don't know, four to five times of the cock pheasant. I should be ground, just be delicate with it until you tie it in. Once you get a tap, this caught in. Then the 
apps going to do the, the protecting of the body for you. So then we're just going to come up with our clear wrap. Just throw in touch and turns up the body. Just the whole way up to meet your thread. Catch this in. And then a couple of tight turns in front to secure. Then you can come in and remove your, your wrap. Now you can see the type of body that you get when you put the, the wrap over the, the main body of the fly. Now the first haggle, as I said there was three haggles. First haggle you want the add on is a golden olive. And this is a, a golden olive saddle that I'm using. So a couple of turns will catch that in for you at this stage. Next, suppose this is where it becomes a, a variant. Um, if you like, you can use a, a green, just a green olive haggle. This here is the grizzle haggle, dyed an olive, we'll catch that in. Your next haggle, you can use a, a browning olive. I'm just using a a red saddle, red game saddle haggle. And we'll catch that in nice and tight. Now what I like to do here is just to work my thread forward to the wing. I don't cut off the, the stems yet as, I, as you can see. Lift the, the mallard up out of the way. And catch in your stems right to the eye of the hook. This will make for a stronger fly for you at this stage. Now first haggle up is obviously the last one that you put on and you're probably looking three to four turns behind the wing. Come in just pull your wing back and then I don't know three to four turns in front of the wing should be plenty. Now what you got to remember here guys is you can you can add or sorry you can take away haggle but you can't add it on, so the more that you have on and if the fish become fussy or you think it's too bushy after you've dressed it, you can always trim it away then we're going to come up with our grizzle haggle and olive three turns again behind the wing bring the wing back out of the way <clears throat> now if that happens, don't worry just come straight back in again So three turns behind the wing, bring the wing back and then three turns or so in front of the wing to there and catch this in with a couple of turns. Now, I don't take these away yet because this will reduce the, the bulk of the head. Then you come up with your golden olive and your we're going to see them again, three behind, bring your dyed mallard back and then th two or three in the front to there, follow this around with your thread, one turn to hold, another turn will secure, now keep your thread tight if you're going to do this, just come in and sweep everything back from the eye of the hook just got to make sure everything's back as much as you can and then just build up your thread over the tips over the haggle tips nice and tight if you're going to do this keeping your thread tight forget about the haggle tips just come straight in put everything back and throw in a whip finish nice and tight and come in trim away your tan thread then you can come in at this point and just break away the, the tips of the haggle then we can come in because we've basically pushed everything back when we were tanning the fly off and there you go guys that's the slight variant we shall say of the uh, 
burn special and I'm just going to come back in and flick everything back we drop a varnish onto the head and then I have a bit of wire here that's on the spool so I'm just going to use that to clean out the eye and there you go guys bring it forward again at this point that's the the urn special now see if you can tie those you'll be able to tie anything it's like any of the Irish log patterns if you can sit and tie those you'll look around and if it's the first time tying it please don't be getting frustrated with it the fly will still work if it floats it gives the impression of a mayfly you've done everything else that you possibly can do in relation to degreasing your leader this is my view by the way the facial to me the facial still they'll still take the pattern you know it's this is not rocket science here that we're dealing with but i just wanted to show you that i hadn't like i say i hadn't planned on filming the the fly but hopefully as i've got something from it um it is a pretty wee pattern you can also change it up a wee bit you can maybe add a, an orange haggle in the mixer give it a wee trigger point even a red haggle um anything bright at all um but look hopefully as i've got something from it guys as always thanks for taking the time uh to tune in to watch the video it's much appreciated and until next time please take care of yourselves enjoy your fishing and uh, just remember if you can't be good be careful and i'll see you on the next one thanks guys bye